For 107 years, this station behind me has stood as a testament to the early days of Aliquippa. When new families migrated to this area, this was the first place they laid eyes on. Today, it's difficult to imagine that the area of downtown Aliquippa was once nothing more than a meandering stream surrounded by a pristine wooded valley. In a very short time, the combined efforts of Jones and Lachlan Steel and the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad changed the entire landscape. Between 1907 and 1915, the blast furnaces of the massive steelworks were built along the banks of the Ohio River. During that same period, the new industrial town of Woodlawn was constructed along the hills opposite the mill. Also during that time, the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad began to expand their line to a four-track system, which required several giant field jobs and construction of a new station facility at Woodlawn. All of this development required workers, and those men and their families descended on Woodlawn in droves. One of the major problems with such a large workforce during that era was communication. Immigrants came from all over the world to find work, creating a melting pot where more than a dozen languages were spoken. The p &E Railroad would take the initiative to ensure those newly arriving families had the support they required. Replacing their old passenger station with a new modern brick structure, the railroad included all of the amenities of a big city passenger depot. This included the hiring of special bilingual agents for each immigrant group. Woodlawn was the first non-major city to utilize this service on the p and &E Railroad. The new Woodlawn passenger station opened for service in March 1911. It would be one of the most used stops along the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad's line for the next 50 years. After passenger service was phased out during the 1960s, the station became the offices of JNL Structural Steel. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1990. Today, Woodlawn Station is being renovated by a private owner, with plans on one day becoming part of a reinvigorated downtown Aliquippa. Its importance to this community can never be forgotten.